Okay, right, guys, let us look at two point perspective drawing. Two point perspective drawing. Our aim is to do all of them. Grade 10, two point perspective. Grade 10, two point perspective. So, on the uh, subject engineering, graphics, and design. So, this is the small information that it should be prepared for you. Uh, whereby we are given the front view which is this one as well as our floor plane or a loof which is our top view so since there are no walls there we cannot call this one a floor plane we can we rather call it what a a top view so the very first thing that we are going to do here is to take this this line down the point that is uh, being point uh, touched is touching what the picture plane this one take it down you are going to take it down so now let's read uh, this trace the angles because these are angles isn't it so when we add this angle uh, the anti-clockwise and the clockwise they must give us 90 degrees you understand so in this case this is angle 60 so if this is 60 which means this one is supposed to be what 30 so you must be very careful at that at that so now what are we going what are we going to do we are going to have a line that will start right from your a line that's starting from your peak, a stationary point like this my SP then it must go up up until it touch you at your picture plane once it touch your picture plane must become vertically down become vertically down like this goes down up until it touch your horizontal line so once it touch your horizontal line so you just indicate with an arrow going down like this so this point is going to be your vanishing point of your left hand side right vanishing point of your left hand side so this line uh, is actually starting from where sp sp eh? you take it to uh, uh, the line of a uh, 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 line of what of picture plane being marked picture plane so this line is supposed to be at an angle parallel to this one parallel to this one at an angle of 30 isn't it so if it's if it's 45 supposed to be 45 if it's the uh, 60 supposed to be 60 right from where from your stationary point 60 how like this okay unfortunately so it means it will go like this from point sp up once it touch my horizontal uh, sorry my picture plane it must go vertically down it must go vertically down like this so there it is so that now here yeah, i i can indicate with an arrow going down so this one skip is going to uh, be our vanishing point of our right hand side vanishing point of our right hand side then from there what is happening we are going to take this line this point this point because if i can mark this point a and point B and point C in our top view so if a I can say this is now my point a first derivative of point a you understand so now take the first derivative of point a to vanishing point of your left hand side using your 30 millimeter ruler if I'm saying like that which means it's just a straight line isn't it it's out of dimension there we go and the first derivative of point a to vanishing point of your right hand side 
like this then from there what is happening so let's take it the point b now to our our stationary point point b stationary point once it touch my picture plane picture plane line it must become vertically down Ish, my paper is supposed to be hundred percent aligned. Let's go down. Like this. There it goes. So which means now uh Without fear or favor, I will say my first derivative of point B is now there. You understand? So, which means I can have this line solid now. You understand? Then from there, let's get the height. Because now I want to move up, isn't it? So take the half, the height, right from your front view. There it goes. Want to touch this line of yours, it must go to vanishing point of your right hand side. There it is, and vanishing point of your left hand side. There it is. So, which means from here till there is now the height. We've gotten the height and I can now have this one dark as well and here uh, dark as well. And remember that the information the the information that he, he, he is up there is actually the question and the hint to say at the end of the day this is what you must have you you must have something of this nature but in the in the examination or the test you are not be you are not going to be given this you understand so you must know what you are doing so from there let's take this point to our vanishing point of our left hand side like this so this one is already existing in our vanishing point of our left hand side isn't it even though it's not going to give us anything so even if i can take this one this one is not giving us anything yet it's talking about the back view of our house you understand so now let's take point c to our stationary point There it goes. Once it touch our horizontal line, the picture plane must become vertically down. So this is two point perspective. It's no longer a single point, you understand? So now without fear or favor, we know OTA is supposed to be solid. You understand? Then we've dealt with the height so the height, uh, this point, if we can trace this point eh, in our front view is this one. You understand? So I can just put the second derivative of A here. Then the second derivative of what? Of point C there. So now if I want to get the first derivative point of point C eh, in our eh, now drawing, eh, I can say it's that one. You understand? So now from eh, the our second derivative, of point C from our front view going up eh, it will be good as if I'm moving from here till there so get that one solid without fear or favor is now solid like that so then we can have this one solid close it up like this you understand so we've got two windows of the very same uh, dimension very same height as well as one door in the middle of the two you understand and the height of the door is of the very same height of the windows so let's get their height how like this 
want to touch there it will go both sides vanishing point of your left hand side there it goes so even if we take it to our vanishing point of our right hand side it's not going to give us anything since we are not told that there is a window on our right hand side of the house you understand so now let's let's take this point to our stationary point is the first point window like that from there go down vertically from picture plane isn't it there you go so which means this point eh, is this one you understand so let's get to the bottom height of our window is this one the bottom line height there it's go there it's go from here it must go to is that one vanishing point of our left hand side it's this one if so is that one the bottom one is this one you understand so which means now without fear or favor i can have this one solid like this then let's take the second one direct it to your stationary point from there vertically down picture plane vertically down goes so now I can have this one dark like this dark like this dark like this so we've already gotten the what the first window isn't it so let's get the what the door because uh, in the middle there is a door isn't it so take that point Direct it to what to stationary point. Once it touch picture plane, vertical down. It's now the door, isn't it? So since they are of the same height, we can just draw. Remember, from here till there is good as from there till there. You understand? So take the the second one of the door directed to stationary point remember there it goes then from there it goes down so solid from here till down there you understand so now I can have this one being close to like this so the last window is that one directed to stationary point from there go down so sort it from here till there You understand so the last point which is this one then from there vertically down so it's dark from here till there understand so now I can have it dark from here till there, dark from here till there. So it's good as if we've already gotten our what our front view. So now let's see what is happening with the roof. So the roof is which one is this one, isn't it? So 
we we are going to take this point let's, let's take it you direct it to your stationary point once it touch there it's already there so and our hl which is your highest level is in is actually in the very same height with the height of of uh, of our loof my my mind is tired now is that one yes so which means it's going to be like this there you go and like this you go you understand so now take that one take that one you direct it to stationary point from here go down so your loof is going to end there so that now without fear or favor you know what this one will go like this and like this so we are done so that was simple and straightforward that was two point two point a uh, perspective drawing grade 10 of engineering graphics and design so thank you very much for watching guys please subscribe and comment like the video subscribe like and share see you on the next video